on the road to take on Temple. George O'Leary's ball club perfect in its first year of American Athletic Conference play in his 10th season in Orlando. So a veteran going up against a rookie, Matt Rule, a longtime assistant for Al Golden and Steve Adazio here before spending one season last year in the NFL with Tom Coughlin and the Giants returning to Philadelphia. Yeah, this is a, a young man that really has got the energy going and changed the culture here at Temple. I really like what he's doing and getting these kids motivated and buying in, even though they're 1-8 on the Third season. Third and three from the 45. Walker with time. Anderson again open for a first down in Knight territory. Brought down at the Central Florida 46, a gain of nine. Now third and eight from the Central Florida 44. Knight showing pressure off the edge. Walker checking out of the play. With time. In the coverage. No flag. Incomplete. Good high kick, Wharton lets it go, it bounces at the five and it'll die for Temple. A great kick by Layton, one of the bright spots on special teams this year for the Owls. Wins to both sides, Johnson in the backfield. Temple does not bring the blitz on this third down, Bortles with time, now he's looking to run. Gets the first down and then some, he is still inbounds finally. Pushed out of bounds by Abdul Smith. I think he's doing fine. He's just fine. <laughs> Ready to throw here, the long out, catch made. Wharton makes the first man miss, surges ahead for another first down. First and 10 from the Central Florida 39. Back to the running game and Johnson, he has an alley, bounces it to the outside. Smith forces him out. Two tights on first and 10 from the 49. Play fake, pressure, Bortles avoids it momentarily. And he's brought down from behind by Nate D. Smith. Great pursuit from the Temple 46. Trips to the left. Hall, bottom of your screen to the right. Bortles looking to throw, looking for Hall. He has a step. Knocked away. Anthony Roby with the play. So Alderman back on the Temple 8. This is Galvin. A low wobbler. And it takes a great night bounce. And he matches Layton's effort and then some as that is down inside the one yard line for a punt of 45. So the Knights and the Owls have exchanged punts here in the first quarter, still scoreless in Philadelphia in the American Game of the Week presented by Gil Dan. Gilmore and Williams. And it doesn't look like he got out of the end zone. Safety. Huh. And the freshman can't make it out of the end zone. Well, on first down, you usually try to get the ball out of the end zone. They try it on second down. And as a running back, you cannot bounce around behind your lineman. You got to stick your head down and get up the field as much as you can, even if you get to the line of scrimmage. The Temple came up with a stop on Bortles. Here's the kick from Layton, and it's a wobbler and short. And it goes out of bounds. So there's a flag. So Temple. Free kick out of bounds on the kicking team. The Central Florida's ball at the 50-yard line, first and 10. This is Hall in motion. Hall looking to turn the corner, and he does. Gets a block, still on his feet. Hit from behind at the Temple 30. A gain of 20. That's who we're playing now. We're on scout team when we were getting ready for <laughs> Notre Dame in Houston back in September. Play fake. No, they give it to Johnson. Johnson, tons of room. Inside the 10. Firstly, what are you expecting from the Knights here out of the gun? Well, you know, you, get, you can get those crisscrosses receivers on the top and really set picks for each other and set a ball high to the corner. Blake throws a great football, especially down in the red zone. Godfrey and Wharton to the left. Reese looking the other end, and Hall cannot make the catch. No flag. Roby with excellent coverage on Hall. They send out Sean Moffitt, who was perfect on the season until having a 50-yarder blocked last week by the Cougars. This one. A bit easier, just 20 yards, and right down Broad Street. Keep the defense on their heels. Now they're putting themselves in a third and one situation. Again, a very reasonable turnover here for them to get the first down. More pressure coming. They 
Run it right up the middle, and this time Harper lowers the shoulder for the first down, a pickup of four. Harper back out there. Walker with time. Anderson wide open for a first down. Hit short of midfield. So Harper in the backfield. Fitzpatrick bottom of your screen to the right. Walker looking over the middle. Has a man wide open. Parthamore keeps his feet for the first down and then some. Puts it at the night 32. Gilmore and Harper in the backfield. Play fake. Walker steps up looking for six. He's got his man. Touchdown Temple. Jamie Gilmore. 32 yards. It's up second and 13 from the night 36. This time they send the trips to the left. Bortles on the keeper. Has an alley. Gets to midfield. First down Central Florida. Abdul Smith on the tackle, but a well-designed play. Picks up 16 yards. Standback stays out there. Wharton, top of your screen right on second and 11 from midfield. Here comes pressure. He gets rid of it to Standback, who keeps his feet. At the 35, the 20, the freshman from Long Island can run all the way to Uniondale. Touchdown, Central Florida. Pressure coming up the middle. Walker looking to run in the open field. The spin might have gotten him the first down. Second and nine from the Temple 30. Twins to the left. Walker with time. Complete, another Temple first down, that's Alderman. So third and 25, let's see what Marcus Satterfield comes up with, the offensive coordinator rolls Walker out with time. Into double coverage and Anderson goes up and gets it. Second and 10 from the 28. Walker floats it out to Harper who makes the grab. Lowers the shoulder for a first down and a few extra yards. It's the, the, the penalties, the, the, the way they, they shoot themselves in the foot. They got to keep it clean because they got opportunities. They're in the red zone now. They got a chance to score. This is Gilmore, another one of those Sunshine State products, looking to get the edge, and he does at the 10. First down inside the five. Temple is in business. Zaire Williams in the backfield. So interesting, it's not Harper. And they give it to Williams, and that's why. Or could have gave it to him or kept it decides to keep it. First and 10. Storm Johnson back in the backfield with Bortles. This is Hall in motion. They give it to Johnson who has a convoy. First down and more. Stays in bounds. The 40. The 30. The 10 finally pushed out of bounds by Zamel Johnson. No tight ends. Trips to the left. Stand back in the backfield. Hall, top of your screen. Temple showing blitz. Here comes Matikiewicz. Bortles throws it up. And Wharton goes and gets it. So now, uh, four lead changes already today. It's P.J. Walker's turn to answer Central Florida. They start out of the pistol. Another rollout. Another wide open receiver. Fitzpatrick with the grab across the 40. Out near midfield. Anderson, top of your screen. They back off him. Now he runs it across midfield. First down. Ozerites brings him down. They stack the receivers to the left. Walker sees the pressure coming from up the middle. Another catch by Anderson. Makes the first man miss in the open territory. Gets wow. by his man. Does he stay in bounds? Touchdown, Owls. Folks. And they end up getting beat one-on-one -on -one in the outside for the game-winning touchdown. So now Bortles with time. Now he's forced out of the pocket. Walton can't get to him. He's still alive. Extending the play. Is he in bounds? Incomplete. J.J. No. Wharton. He's saying he had, they're saying bobbled it. The right foot looked in, but they're saying he never had possession. Great play by Bortles to extend the play. Again, the thing is possession. They said he was bobbling. It looks like the ball's moving slightly, but he's still not out of bounds yet. 
I think there he has control. UCF without. calls his first time out of the half. UCF takes a 30 second timeout. UCF takes a timeout to make Jack Kramer get all the looks he can. After review, the ruling on the field is a completed catch at the 48 yard line of UCS. It'll be UCS ball, first down and 10 yards to go. They will not be charged a timeout. So there you have it. We have already had five lead changes in the half. Central Florida looking to make it six with 51 seconds left in the half. Temple backs off the blitz. Now it comes. Incomplete, dude, and there's the flag, the nudge in the back, an easy call. Pass interference, number 14 of the defense. It's a spot foul, automatic, first down. You know, to me, Alwan's in position there. Really just play the ball. Before they snap it here, a reminder to our local affiliates, our next break will be break number nine. Now first and 10 from the 41. Pressure on Bortles, he gets hit, it's Alwan with redemption. Moffitt two for two on anything from 40 to 49 yards. He has hit a 50 yarder, but he also had a 50 yarder blocked a week ago. Bortles with time has a man at Wharton again. He kept the drive alive by staying in bounds, and there he makes another key grab over the middle for 17 yards. So now they're in business for a field goal. They will spike it here, you would think. Please. Is he a veteran enough to pull off the fake? No, they a quick dump off in the screen game. Does Phil Snow dial up a blitz one more time on third and 10 from the 28? Central Florida already in field goal range. Here comes the heat. Bortles gets away. Does Wharton make another grab? Wow. Yes, he does. The J.J. Wharton show continues. That looked harder to see, and the referees say it's a catch. Now Temple doesn't have a timeout to make the officials think about it and take a look at it, but it looks like they're going to do it on their own. Three, but when you have guys who can make grabs like that, now, again, you're talking about possession and when. When and where. That's going to be tough to overturn. Great focus. Really knowing where you are. That's the biggest thing as a wide receiver. Know where you're on the field. Understand where the out of bounds is. After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. It'll be a first down for UCF. A crossing route to hit the backside of the end zone so you stay out of the middle field and all that trouble. I think you got to go end zone because even the clock play you might not have enough time for. Bortles looking for six. Godfrey almost came up with a great catch. For our sixth lead change in the first 30 minutes of football, bullseye. He's bought into this role at the wide receiver position and become a weapon for these guys. More importantly, also, he's become a captain. So, buying in, Bortles avoids the pressure and has a first down and a little bit more as Abdul Smith brings him down in Temple territory. 12-yard gain, sets up the Knights at the Temple 42. Stand back, back out there. Lone back. And he has it, running to the right with an alley, lowering the shoulder into Smith, near a first down, right at the chain. And it is indeed a 10-yard pickup for the first down. The recruiting process about a week before signing day. And now here's Stanback, a major weapon as they look for the deep ball, and it's another great catch by J.J. Wharton. Two tight ends with Popolo out there. That's Popolo in motion. Bortles keeps it on the sneak. No signal yet. Be short. Well, it'll be fourth and goal from the one. Wow. On your own 25-yard line to try to get a first down. Listen, Temple knows what's coming. UCF knows what's coming. Let's see if he can get up. Marked inside the one. He keeps it, Bortles. Looking to throw into the back of the end zone. Incomplete! That good a brand of football, but they're making big splash plays, turnovers when they need them, and that's what's been so successful for them this season. Now looking for a three and out to flip the field. Walker flips it ahead to Harper, who makes the grab and holds on to it despite the big hit from Mag from the 25. Tight formation. Play fake to Williams, looking deep for Anderson. He throws it deep, gathers, can't get his hands on it, and Anderson behind the defense. The 10, the 5, 
Touchdown, Temple. The Owls go back on top. So it's now first and 10 from the 23. Over the middle, Hall in strong. Gets hit hard by Abdul Smith, but he holds on to the ball for a 16-yard gain. Looked at the American Conference today at the two noon games. You thought the dogfight might be in Piscataway and the walkover in Philadelphia. Situation exactly opposite, but now Bortles in the open field, gets out of bounds. Situations when you have at least two chances to get short yardage. Now the pocket collapses. He gets rid of it anyway to Wharton into Temple territory. Shipping in on the hit. Reese Godfrey Wharton to the right. Johnson in the backfield. Bortles with time over the middle. Guess who? J.J. Wharton still on his feet at the 10, the 5. He will score on the season for this Temple Club. Bunch formation to the right on first and 10 from the 20. They start on the ground with Harper, who bounces it outside, gets the first down, and gets out of bounds. And even though he hasn't had success, I just he's that kind of guy that rubs off on of me, that believes in his players in certain situations. Unfortunately for Temple fans, they're nowhere near that point right now, but they will get a first down. John Christopher wins to the right. Fitzpatrick, bottom of your screen. Harper has an alley. Harper in the open field, inside the 35. Harper in the backfield. Fitzpatrick, bottom of your screen right. Here comes pressure. Harper runs right into it and beats it. Inside the 20. Ozerite finally brings him down, but inside the 10-yard line. He's warmed up before the game. This is basically a chip shot, so. And Walker. Can he get the corner? He's got a man wide open in the end zone. Caught the ball. Unbelievable. That was not the design play. So critical two points here. Walker's looking to keep it himself and jump throw to the lineman. That's Parkamore again. 2.04 left to play against Blake Bortles and Storm Johnson with one timeout left. Temple has been in this situation before. It was Bortles on a drive. How many clutch plays did they make on that drive? Third down, fourth down yep. before he finally hooked up with Godfrey. Well, you want to be great in college football at the quarterback position, this is Blake Bortles' time right here. Hall with another big catch. Just like that, they're in Temple territory and threatening. Over the middle, Hall with a tremendous grab. It's been the Rennell Hall drive so far. He's bottom of your screen left. Here comes pressure. Bortle sees it coming. Looking for Wharton in the end zone. Wharton behind the defense. Oh! Are you kidding? <laughs> Bortles keeping the play alive, gets knocked down, throws this ball, looks like it's way overthrown. And J.J. Wharton, I love it. This kid has played the game of his life and another circus catch. Talked all about Central Florida's close wins. On the flip side, it's been the close loss, the story for Temple. Now Walker for Fitzpatrick. What's the call? Yes, sir, good catch, they say. Or, you know, sort of not afraid to give up field goal range. Well, to me, yeah, you want to force him to, you know, if they have to, if they get in that situation. Looking deep for Anderson, but he overshoots him. Walker calls his own number, and he gets hit by Niles. Florida, that's a lot on the plate for a freshman quarterback against the 17th ranked team in the BCS. They're going to let him throw it. Here comes pressure off the edge. And he does not get rid of it. So now George O'Leary quickly calls a timeout with 28 seconds left. Layton standing on the Temple 21. Gets it off. Wharton from the 25. Brought down at the 30. Is back in Orlando, but Hall, bottom of your screen, to the left, trips to the right.
Wardles looking for Wharton, looking for Hall at the 30, the 20. Tripped up. Gonna get up on the ball here. Clock does stop with the first down. You see him hustling. What a season it has been for Central Florida. That's the way it's been going. They have to clock it and then get Moffitt out there. 64 yards. They got to get rid of it. This is from 24 for the win. Sean Moffitt. Flag on the play. Did they run into the kicker again? If it's good, the Knights remain perfect. An American Athletic Conference Running play. Running into the kicker on the defense. That penalty's declined. Field goal is good. George O'Leary and the Knights escape Philadelphia. I'll tell you what, a great effort by this young Tampa.